Today's lesson is about transform the sine and cosine functions. Take a sine function, for example. We call a is a amplitude. B is used to figure out the period, two pi over b. Or if it's a degree, we can use a three sixty. Degree over b. We call c is a horizontal shift. D called vertical shift. Let's look at function transformation rules. First of all, remember, insider is a liar. What's the meaning of a insider? Insider means、uh, those numbers with the、uh, x. In other words, those number have the same position as、uh, x. For example, b and、uh, h are insider. We call a and、uh, k are outsider. Outsiders always act as they are. So when a greater than one means、uh, vertically stretch by factor of a. If a between zero and one will be vertically compressed by factor of a. For B, since B is an insider, it will be liar. In other words, when B greater than one, we got to do horizontally compressed by factor of one over B. When B between zero and one, like one half, one third. Then we got to do horizontally stretch by factor of one over b. So for insider, remember that is a keywords is a horizontally. It's a horizontally move left or right, or it's a horizontally stretch or compressed. Therefore, for k is an outsider, greater than zero means、uh, going up, less than zero means going down. But for this h, greater than zero means move to the left. Less than zero means move to the right. When a equals negative one, negative sign always do reflection. It will be reflect across x axis. When b equals negative one, it will be reflect across y axis. Let's go to example. First of all, remember change into transform the form, like、uh, this one or this one. Then you will figure out. Amplitude, phase shift, vertical shift, and a period. It's maximum and a minimum, and then write down the transformation. Look at number one. Y equals four sine two parentheses x minus pi over three plus When we analyze this、uh, function, we realize this is a transformed form. Therefore, we got a amplitude is four. B that is a two. For c and a d, for sine and a cosine function, period equals two pi over b. Therefore, we got two pi over two. That's pi. 
How to figure out the maximum or minimum? We know that for parent, son, and a cosine function, its maximum is one; its minimum is a negative one. Therefore, I will put the sine this function change into plus or minus one. Then I will get. Four times plus or minus one plus five. If I choose positive one, I will get the four times one plus five equals nine. If I choose a negative one, I got the four times negative one plus five equal to one. Then I choose a smaller number as minimum. Maximum that will be greater one, so that's nine. That's how you get the maximum and a minimum for sine and a cosine function. For transformation, you can write from left to the right. So we got to do the four first. This two, second, third. And a fourth. Therefore, first step: vertically stretch by factor of four. Your second step: horizontal. Since this is a layer, so compress the by factor of one over two. Third step. It's a layer, so it's not moved to the left. It should be moved to the right, pi over three units. Then for four step, that's a go up five units. Now let's go to second question. Obviously, it's not a transformed sine function. How do we change this into transformed form? Before we directly go to this、uh, example, let's、uh, go to some practice. Change the following into b times x plus c form. For number one, you will get equals two. Then you have to divide it by two for each term. You will get the x plus three over two because this is reduced. For number two, you will take negative three out, so we divide it by negative three. This is reduced. You get the x positive negative will be negative, so seven over three. For Number three, we divide it by four. Reduce, you will get the x minus pi over five, then over four. This is a complex fraction. Denominator drop down. Do multiplication, we got pi over twenty. So pi over twenty. For number four, we divide by one half. Then this is one, so we got the one half. Here's x minus. We do pi over eight over one over two. So denominator drop, denominator jump up. You will get. Two pi over eight. Therefore, that's pi over four. This is the way that、uh, change into transformed form. Now let's go to number two. So we got negative sine. We need to take five out. 
Then we divide it by five, divide it by five. Pi over two divided by five. Denominator drop down, we got pi over 10. So we got x minus pi over 10. Then plus uh, 6. Now we can figure out uh, A, B, C, and D. Amplitude will be 1. Amplitude means uh, distance. Therefore, it's positive. B is a 5. Phase shift, that's uh, pi over 10 it will move to the right. Phase shift, that's a insider is a liar. For vertical shift, that's a six going up. For period, that will be two pi over five. For maximum or minimum, you can use the transformed form or use the original. This time, let's use original. So I got sine part. I turn into plus or minus 1. Then we got uh, negative 1 times plus or minus 1, then plus 6. So we got the two parts negative 1 times the positive 1 plus 6, you will get 5. Negative 1 times the negative 1 plus 6, you got 7. Therefore, maximum is a 7, minimum will be a 5. For transformation, let's label the steps 1, 2, 3, 4. So first step, negative sign means reflect across x axis. Second step, that's a layer. That will be horizontally compressed by factor of one over five. For three, that's a layer. So move to the right, pi over 10 units. For number four, let's go up uh, six unit. Let's go to number five. First of all, you have to change this function into transformed form. Therefore, we got negative seven cosine. We will take out one over four. So we divide by 1 over 4. Divide by 1 over 4. Pi over 5 divided by 1 over 4. Denominator, this 5 drop down. This 4 goes up. You will get the 4 pi over 5. So we got x plus 4 pi over 5. Then we do minus 3. For amplitude, that's a 7. B is a 1 over 4. Phase shift, that will be 4 pi over 5. Move to the left. Vertical shift, that's a 3 go down three units. Period, we got two pi over one over four. You will get eight pi. For maximum and a minimum, for cosine function, I turn into plus or minus one. So we got negative seven times plus or minus one, then minus three. We got the two form, that's negative 7 times 1 minus 3, that's negative 10. And uh, 
negative 7 times negative 1 minus 3, you will get 4. Therefore, maximum will be 4 and a minimum will be negative 10. For transformation, you will get um, steps, negative sign, that's 1, 7, that's 2, 1 over 4, 3, 4 pi over 5, 4. This one is a 5. So first step, let's reflect across x axis. Second step, that's a vertically stretch the by factor of uh, seven. For number three, that's a layer. Therefore, horizontally stretch by factor of uh, four. For number four, move to the left four pi over five unit. For number five, go down three units.